Good evening, everyone. I would like to take this opportunity to say a few words to you tonight, and they are from the heart. I really mean it. This is from my life and from my soul, which is a gratifying thing. Now that the electoral process has been dutifully done and has been committed to the full, and that the outcome was truly a remarkable one. Even though I did not get enough votes to win the electoral ballot for the nomination for an assemblyman for the 37th district, I still feel that I made a mission complete. Because of the hard work, we've earned almost 900 votes in my first attempt in running for assembly, which is almost 15% of the populist vote. Actually, it was 15%, believe it or not. And I have no, not one, deep regret whatsoever about the loss. I've received congratulatory calls from people left and right saying that I achieved something absolutely remarkable. And they're right. You and I achieved something remarkable together. Just because I lost the election does not mean I'm not giving up on the issues that affect us, which is autism and civil rights. I'm going to keep on fighting, together with you and I, all over our nation, and we are going to get our message across together. Through positive and nonviolent human revolution movements, such as dialogue, determination, prayer, and a call for new and better understanding of the Americans with Disabilities Act and Section 504, IDEA, and so forth. I wish to stress fully that I am not going to give up on my political dreams. In fact, in less than a few weeks from today, I will try it again. That's right. I will try to shoot for the primaries in 2010. Regardless of no matter what, it will be a very peaceful and unique battle. It will not be mudslinging like I stated, and this will be about people first, like I stated in my campaign. So I will not give up on my promises, my dreams, and my future. To all of you who supported my call, I thank you. To all those who have not yet met along the way, I will see you soon. Our goals and our dreams are not beyond reach. They are within reach and we can do it as long as we try with all our might and within the heart and soul of every citizen to improve the quality of life for the physically and mentally challenged in our state. It is the will and the determination of all of us to get together and to fight for the common cause. I hope with divine guidance and with the spirit of a unified nation, we all can say, yes we can, yes we shall, Yes, we must, and yes, we will do all we can to make a difference in people's lives with physical or mental challenges. I wish again to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you've done for me. I'm proud of my work as well. I'm proud of what I accomplished in two months even though I am still a newcomer to the election and democratic process, 
the governmenting process, the, the whole democracy process. I will learn in due time all the wonderful things to become a capable assemblyman when I run again in 2010. So the mission isn't over. It's just begun. Thank you all, and good night.